In this video, we're going to look at some creative ways of browsing patches. Now, I'm going to play you a little arrangement here without any Omnisphere added. And it goes on like that. Now, I've added a simple part where I've got two notes. You can see them over here. And it's kind of a bubbling, percolating synth part that I think adds something nice. So that works nicely, but I think I want to try some other patches. I like that general vibe, but I want to try some other things. Now, there's two new features in Omnisphere 2.0 that are really great for this, and they're kind of related. One is sound lock and one is sound match. Now, we have the attribute browsing here that we looked at, and we talked about file directory where we can browse in the order that they're stored in on the hard drive. And we looked in the mini browser briefly at sound match, but we're going to look at it here. When we're in this mode, it takes over the whole browser, and we have the search results. And the prescribed sort of textbook way of using it is to click on match current selection and it'll return patches that are similar to this based on tags that are used in the definition of the patch. And that works great. And I'm going to take it one step further. But to start with, let's match the current selection, Pulsatronic Sweep. And now it's returning to me patches that are similar to that. And we have kind of ratings here showing the strength from strongest to weakest in terms of how much it matches the source patch. Let's try a couple. So they're all interesting and nice, and they have related types of elements, and they work. And we can use it like that, but when I say take it one step further, what I like is finding one, like for example, this one that I like, and now matching this one. So now it's going to match the current selection, which is Swept Acid 101 Groove. So now I'm matching patches that are like this one, which was a match of my original. Let's try another one. Okay, I kind of like that one. So I think I want to go into another direction with this. So what I'm going to do is match this current selection, which is pile driver. And now I've got matches for this. So each time I do this, I'm sort of going a step further away from my original. But it's kind of what I like to think of as intelligent browsing because I'm going in related directions. Now let's try some other ones that are similar to this. So match current selection is cool, and it does not have to be limited to one stage of matching. You can keep going. Now, let's go back to the original one I had, which was Pulsatronic Sweep over here. And we're back to the original. I'm going to just clear my search field here, and we're going to go out of that mode. Let's just hear it again to refresh our memories. So what we can do to search similar sounds other than using sound match is lock in some of the elements. Let me just try one or two others and see if I can find something more interesting or different to work with. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So let's go to the patch for a moment and let's just look at the modulation. We see there's a bunch of modulation envelopes and wheel going on and on the other layer, same thing. So what I want to do here is go back to the browser and I'm going to lock in those elements of the sound. So I can lock in the modulation matrix and effects and I'll choose filters also. And you can do as many of these or as few of them as you want. And you have all of these to choose from. And what this means is when we switch sounds, these aspects of this patch will be preserved. So this is another kind of way of what I like to think of as intelligent browsing where we're now changing patches, but we're going to get sounds that are related to this, not via sound match and tags, but by locking in certain elements of the sound. So with that in mind and those elements locked, let's try some different patches.
So that's kind of interesting. And this is now an original patch since it's not the repeater base that ships with the library, but it's got these elements that are from the other patch. Now let's see what that sounds like on its own. I'm going to clear these lock parameters and I'll just reselect it and let's listen. So very different than what we just heard. So this is another way of intelligent searching and you can combine the two. So you can start by maybe using sound match and then match sounds or make a selection based on match sounds and then continue to lock in elements and with those matched sounds, try switching with some of the elements locked in. So it's an even sort of more precise way of zeroing in on your browsing. So those are a couple of ideas on how browsing has been improved in Omnisphere 2.0 and how to wrestle the huge library that ships with Omnisphere and make it bend to your will.